Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. This is Jason. Today I have something that's very very new from TP Link Omada series. This is the EAP723. Okay, so it's basically on the Wi Fi 7 series, as you can see from the first number of the model number. All right. Previously, we have done a lot of uh, EAP615, EAP610, and so on and so forth for the 6 series. Now, for the 7 series, I'm going to do the unboxing first time for 7 to 3. Okay. So, basically, what we will see here are the contents of the Wi Fi 7 AP, and this particular AP is using 2.5 GBE. Okay. So, it's 2.5 gig uh, uplink and it's using PoE and the PoE will be using on the 802.03 AF which is up to 30 watts right for those who are curious as to what do we use what switch or what PoE switch do we use with this particular AP or what kind of routers do we use in this kind of scenarios so over here I have a list of routers which you can utilize for deploying your Omada series which can accept 2.5 gig and above all right so as for the switches over here we have also a list of the switch which you can utilize to power anything that has 2.5 gbe that has requires poe right i will stress again on the equipment which you can utilize with this eap723 let's move on to unboxing this unit and let's see what's included right so right out of the box okay we're gonna see okay we have the AP, okay. The access point actually is very, very small. I mean, okay, the way I look at it, uh, much smaller than all the other series like the 772 or 773. Okay, this is will be a very, very nifty unit. Okay. And in here, we have all the remounting screws, all right, and the explanation. Of course, last but not least, uh, let's not forget about the mounting bracket, okay. Similarly, for the mounting bracket, you can see here, it's actually uh, made of metal, right? So indirectly, it's helping it dissipate some of the heat, okay? So mounting it, very simple, we have the A and B mountings, alright? So you can utilize them. So like I mentioned earlier, it has a 2.5 GBE, alright? And it's powered by 802.03 AT, which is 30 watts PoE. Of course, if you don't wish to use the PoE to power it and you want to just do an uplink 2.5 GBE, you can also power it by using a 12 volt adapter. It's an optional item, you have to purchase it separately. It's not available within the box itself for EAP723. Okay. Now, for the routers and the PoE switch, like I mentioned earlier, do refer to the router list over here. Okay, these are the list of routers which you can utilize which can accept 2.5 GBE and above. Next will be the PoE switches. All right, please use the appropriate and correct PoE switches to use with the 7 series. These are the PoE switches that are available that you can purchase to use with all the Wi-Fi 7 APs from TP-Link. Right. Similarly, with all the routers and PoE switches from the Omada series, you will have a complete suite of products completely with the Omada series. Okay. Now, for the controller, you are free to use the cloud-based controller or an on-prem controller where you can also utilize a OC200 or OC300 depending on your size of deployment. Okay, right. So this wraps up my unboxing of the EAP723. If you have any questions or remarks, please feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and share my video. Thank you very much.